God's Prior Claims October 22nd In Heavenly Places And thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verses 17, 18 Those who love God supremely will realize that they are rich beyond computation in the wealth that God gives them. Man possesses nothing to which he has an exclusive right. He does not even own himself, for he has been bought with a price, even the blood of the Son of God. Christ has a claim on all the property in our world. He can set in operation a train of circumstances which will sweep away the accumulated gain of years. He can also call in needed help for his children. It is God who gives man the breath of life. We cannot originate. We can only collect that which God has originated. He is our guardian, our counselor. And more than this, from his liberal supply we derive all the skill, tact, and ability that we possess. All you possess is his gift, for you had nothing with which to create or purchase it. It is given you, not to become a wedge to separate you from him, but to help you in doing his service. The moment a man loses sight of the fact that his capabilities and possessions are the Lord's, that moment he is embezzling his Lord's goods. He is acting the part of an unjust steward, provoking the Lord to transfer his goods to more faithful hands. God calls upon those to whom he has entrusted his goods to handle them faithfully, to show to the world that they are laboring for the salvation of sinners. He calls upon those who profess to be under his supervision not to misrepresent him in character. He daily loadeth us with benefits. Let us glorify him by imparting to others the abundance he has bestowed upon us. O oh, for love, sacred, holy, unselfish love. Let us, as the Lord's representatives, Realize what a terrible thing it is to misrepresent the Savior by revealing selfishness. God calls upon his sons and daughters to show to the world that he is not selfish, but full of liberal, unselfish plans. He is waiting for channels through which to communicate the wealth of his love. Manuscript 63, 1901 Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in gratitude, acknowledging that all we have is a gift from your hand. Help us to remember that our strength, wealth, and abilities come from you alone. Keep us mindful that we are stewards of your blessings, called to use them for your glory and the good of others. Guard our hearts from selfishness and the temptation to claim ownership of what is yours. May we faithfully honor your prior claims on our lives, our possessions, and our talents. Teach us to glorify you by sharing the abundance you have so generously given, and to labor for the salvation of others in all that we do. Fill us with your unselfish love, that through our actions, the world may see your goodness and grace. Use us as channels of your love and blessings to others. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen.